Hi guys, I'm Andy from Cruise Master, and today on Cruise Master Class, we're going to be talking about the different types of trailer brakes. We get the question quite a lot here at Cruise Master about the different types of trailer brakes, how they work, and the different benefits of the different designs. There's two different designs in trailer brakes. That's a drum brake and a disc brake. And they can be actuated either mechanically, electrically, or hydraulically. So let's get stuck in to the mechanical side of things. In the entry end of the market, we have mechanical brakes, which are either drum or disc. And they work by having the cable pull on this lever from an overrun coupling on the front of the trailer. They're not particularly effective because they rely on that overrun capability of the coupling and the relative weight of the trailer. However, they're very cost effective and they don't require a brake controller in the vehicle. So you often see them on rental vehicles. They're also limited on their braking capacity because they typically don't have an overrun feature which is required on trailers over two tons GTM. Stepping up into the electrically controlled side of things, we step into the electrical drum brake. These are very common on caravans in particular because they're very economical and provide pretty decent braking capabilities. They work by electrically actuating this magnet located inside the drum. This electromagnet then grabs on the face of the drum in here and then it drags this lever as the wheel moves along and it spreads the shoes apart. Those shoes spread apart and they touch the inner surface of the drum here, generating friction, which slows down the trailer. And they also have a part brake mechanism incorporated into them. Electric drum brakes come in two different sizes, 10 inch and 12 inch varieties. And they go on different sizes of vehicles depending on how much they weigh and the size of the tires that are on those particular vehicles. Now, whilst they're quite cost efficient, they do have some downsides. Due to the design of them, their torque varies with speed. So to demonstrate that, if you've ever um, been out on the road with an electric drum brake, you've been 100 kilometers an hour and you've been creeping up the brake controller to be able to feel the trailer decelerating a bit when you apply the brake, and you come into the next town and you're slowing down with the roundabout in the middle of town, and all of a sudden the wheels lock. That's because you get more torque at lower wheel speeds in an electric drum brake. So they're less effective at high speeds. You can also see there's a lot of moving parts inside an electric drum brake, which means they're not as durable on corrugations as their disc brake partners. Now onto hydraulic disc brakes, and these give the best performance of all the brakes on the trailer market. They work by having an electric to hydraulic actuator located on the trailer. This receives a proportionate voltage signal from the brake controller in the car and converts it into hydraulic pressure. That hydraulic pressure through fluid goes through hydraulic brake lines, which then end up in the caliper at the wheels. That hydraulic fluid then pushes on a piston inside the caliper, which pushes the brake pads onto the brake rotor, which then does a decelerating of the vehicle. Whilst hydraulic disc brakes are typically more expensive than their electric drum cousins, they do have quite a few more performance benefits. Due to their design, they have more consistent and more stopping power than the electric drums. They also handle heat better, particularly these versions which are ventilated rotors. From the off-road side of things, due to them having far less moving parts inside them, they also handle corrugations and vibrations far better, as well as their semi-dirt clearing as well. You'll often find an electric drum that will hold you know, rocks and that type of stuff in the bottom of it if you've been off-road with them. Now, if you've got a Cruise Master suspension with electric brakes, we do have it as an upgrade kit that allows you to convert from electric drum into hydraulic disc. So we have a mounting system that bolts to the standard weld ring, which allows you to convert it over. Obviously, there's a bit of plumbing involved with the brake lines and the actuator. So it is a bit of a, bit of a job, but if you do want to get that improved stopping performance, we do have that option available. One of the last features on the Cruise Master hydraulic disc brake system is we do have a park brake function, which basically runs a cable from the handbrake to a lever on the back of the caliper, which in turn pushes on the back of the piston and provides that holding power. 
Um, at Cruise Master, we won't allow park breaks to be held with hydraulics like um, some other businesses, because we're a bit concerned that overnight, if you have a temperature change, the volume of the fluid will reduce and then the pipe brake can come off and that could be um, pretty catastrophic if the trailer then moves in an uncontrolled fashion. If you are interested in more information on what braking systems are available on our Cruise Master fleet of suspensions, give the team in the office a call, they'll be happy to help you out. We've got plenty more Cruise Master class videos up on YouTube already and coming out, so if you're interested, keep an eye out on our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube so you don't miss out.